Gastroesophageal reflux disease, or simply acid reflux disease, is a chronic digestive disorder that affects millions of people worldwide. It occurs when the stomach acid flows back into the esophagus, causing irritation and discomfort. In this video, we will provide an overview of gastroesophageal reflux disease, including its causes, symptoms, diagnosis, prevention, and treatment options. At the entrance to your stomach is a valve, which is a ring of muscle called the lower esophageal sphincter. Normally, the lower esophageal sphincter closes as soon as food passes through it. If the lower esophageal sphincter doesn't close all the way or if it opens too often, acid produced by your stomach can move up into your esophagus. This can cause symptoms, such as a burning chest or discomfort called heartburn. Some common causes of GERD include hiatal hernia. A hiatal hernia occurs when the stomach bulges through the diaphragm and into the chest, causing the lower esophageal sphincter to become weak and leading to acid reflux. Obesity. Being overweight or obese can put extra pressure on the stomach, causing acid reflux. Pregnancy. Hormonal changes during pregnancy can cause the lower esophageal sphincter to relax, leading to acid reflux. Smoking Smoking can cause the lower esophageal sphincter to relax and can increase stomach acid production, leading to acid reflux. Certain foods Certain foods can trigger acid reflux, such as spicy or fatty foods, chocolate, caffeine, and alcohol. The most common symptom of GERD is heartburn, which is a burning sensation in the chest. Other symptoms of GERD include regurgitation, the sensation of stomach acid or bile coming back up into the mouth, having difficulty in swallowing, with a feeling of food being stuck in the throat or chest, sharp pain in the chest that can mimic a heart attack, a persistent cough that can be caused by acid reflux irritating the airways. A hoarse voice or sore throat caused by acid reflux irritating the vocal cords. Gastroesophageal reflux disease is diagnosed through a combination of patient history, physical examination, and diagnostic tests. The first step in diagnosing GERD is a detailed patient history. Your healthcare provider will ask about your symptoms, how often you experience them, and what triggers them. They may also ask about your medical history lifestyle habits, and any medications you are currently taking. Your healthcare provider may perform a physical examination to check for any signs of GERD. They may examine your throat and mouth for inflammation, redness, or irritation. They may also listen to your lungs for any signs of chronic cough or wheezing. If your healthcare provider suspects that you have GERD, they may order one or more diagnostic tests to confirm the diagnosis. Some of the most common diagnostic tests used to diagnose GERD includes upper endoscopy, esophageal manometry, and barium swallow test. During an upper endoscopy, a thin, flexible tube with a camera on the end is inserted through the mouth and down into the esophagus. This allows your healthcare provider to examine the lining of the esophagus and stomach for any signs of inflammation, erosion, or ulcers. Esophageal pH monitoring measures the amount of acid in the esophagus over a 24-hour period. This test involves inserting a thin, flexible tube with a pH sensor into the esophagus through the nose. The sensor records the pH levels in the esophagus as you go about your normal daily activities. Esophageal manometry measures the pressure and movement of the esophagus as you swallow. This test involves inserting a thin, Flexible tube with pressure sensors into the esophagus through the nose. The sensors record the pressure and movement of the esophagus as you swallow. A barium swallow is a type of X-ray that allows your healthcare provider to see the esophagus and stomach in action. During this test, you will swallow a liquid containing barium, which will show up on X-ray as it moves through your digestive system. Gastroesophageal reflux disease can be managed through a variety of treatment options. The goal of treatment is to relieve symptoms, heal any damage to the esophagus, and prevent complications. 
Making lifestyle changes can help reduce symptoms of gastroesophageal reflux disease. This may include avoiding trigger foods and beverages, such as spicy or acidic foods, caffeine, and alcohol. Eating smaller, more frequent meals. Avoiding eating within two to three hours of bedtime. Losing weight if you are overweight or obese. Elevating the head of your bed to reduce nighttime reflux. Several types of medications can also be used to treat gastroesophageal reflux disease. Over-the-counter antacids can provide quick relief of symptoms by neutralizing stomach acid. H2 blockers, such as ranitidine or famotidine, reduce the amount of acid produced in the stomach, providing longer-lasting relief of symptoms. Proton pump inhibitors, such as omprazole or lansoprazole, are a type of medication that reduces the amount of acid produced in the stomach, allowing the esophagus to heal. Prokinetics, such as metoclopramide, help the stomach empty more quickly, reducing the amount of time that acid can reflux into the esophagus. In some cases, surgery may be recommended to treat gastroesophageal reflux disease. This is usually reserved for severe cases that do not respond to lifestyle changes or medications. The most common surgery for GERD is called fundoplication, which involves wrapping the upper part of the stomach around the lower esophageal sphincter to reinforce the valve and prevent reflux. Thanks for watching. Hope you this video have been beneficial for you. If you have any questions or concerns, please consult your healthcare provider. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more informative medical videos.